You likely know the name Leanne Chen. Her chain of Chinese restaurants is a Minnesota staple, but few know the dramatic way it all came to be. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains why it is truly a Hollywood story. It's part of the Minnesota commercial landscape. Known for its noodle dishes, wontons, and garlicky green beans, there are more than 40 locations. People today know Lianchen as, you know, fast casual kind of chain, but back in the day, the first restaurant was quite elegant. It was in Minnetonka in 1980 that the 47-year-old Chinese entrepreneur opened her first restaurant, a stunning feat when you understand how her life began. Leanne passed away in 2009, but her daughter now wants to make certain her story lives on. What makes you want to get it out so bad? I feel like my mother's story is so inspirational. It's really a story of strength and resilience. There are things that happen to our family that <clears throat> some families would keep secret, but I feel like it's my responsibility to make people aware of, first of all, the struggles that she faced. Leanne was born in China in 1933. As a teenager, she was promised in marriage to a stranger. I remember her telling me they had lunch, and then the next thing she knew, they were married and her parents left. The couple immigrated to Minnesota. She had to endure a lot. Um, my father had uh, depression and anxiety, and he would take that out of my mom. Um, she had to raise six children in a tiny little house in South Minneapolis with one bathroom. Katie describes her hardworking mom as devoted and stoic. In a lot of Asian American families, um, love, in, love isn't expressed verbally or physically, like my mother never said, I love you. We knew she loved us. It's just that uh, love was expressed through food. A seamstress by trade, Leanne was making 50 cents an hour. She uh, decided to throw a luncheon for some of her sewing clients one day uh, to thank them, and they fell in love with her cuisine because they had never had authentic Chinese cuisine before. So they uh, encouraged her to start teaching and to uh, cater out of our tiny little basement. Eventually, she saved up enough to get a yellow Ford Pinto. I remember that. And uh, she became very successful. And so she was able to get the owner of the Minnesota Twins, Carl Polad, to invest in the restaurant. But Carl Polad happened to be friends with Sean Connery, which is a crazy story. Like, what? Yeah. And like, how did that happen? It happened because the movie star was in town visiting his friend Robert Redford, who was filming Ordinary People, and Leanne catered a party. And I was there as a little girl serving appetizers, and I was so nervous. It was Sean Connery was exactly as you'd imagined. And uh, cool, cool, cool. He was just so handsome and tall, and he turned around, he was like, nice dumplings. <laughs> Once word got out that Sean Connery had invested in her first restaurant, well, of course, there were lines around the block. But she also had become such a successful caterer. Um, people were just dying to go to her first restaurant. Her first of 50, Leanne sold her successful empire to General Mills a few years later. Katie became an L.A.-based chef herself, and the duo became national TV cooking stars. She had no idea that this would happen to her. I mean, Cute. it's just like a miracle, really, when you think about it. And it seems like her food was extra special. My mother's food was magical. I like to say she was like, um, you know, a savant. A savant who fought through the bitterness of life to find some sweet success. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News. Katie is a celebrity chef in California. She has her own cookbook that honors her mother's recipes, including her favorite thing that her mother cooked, chicken chow mein.